I want to make as absurdly clear right now that our temptations are not sins. They're just temptations uh, until we begin to act on them. Yeah. So in light of that fact, I think people are going to naturally follow up and say, well, how do I tell the difference? True. Right? Because you can affirm that metaphysically. Yeah. But then how do I experience that Mm -hmm. phenomenologically? And I think one thing that we should say from the outset is we're not going to be able to do it in such a way that you no longer have uncertainties or you no longer have doubts. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But the point isn't to have perfect conceptual clarity as to what's going on in your interior life. The point is to give yourself to God Mm -hmm. with the confidence that God, who is good and provident, is going to conduct us further up and further into his divine life over the course of our human existence. Okay, so... One of the images that like St. Francis de Sales uses uh-huh. is the image of seduction. So we'll talk about like a damsel, and then I'll talk about a suitor, maybe mm-hmm. an unwelcome suitor or a kind of nefarious suitor. And he makes his approach, right? Mm-hmm. He proposes his intent, and then the damsel ponders it in her heart, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then she consents to it. And typically we have this proposal, this pondering, mm-hmm. and then this consent, And we would say, like, the pondering is kind of the level of temptation. Yeah. And the consenting is the level of sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but, again, find shades within the pondering. How long? Right. How seriously? How engaged? Do you have, like, criteria uh, for that, or do you have ways to help people think through that? Because I think that, like, they get to the sacrament of confession, and they're like, I probably should confess it to be safe, which I think is a good instinct. I should confess it to be safe. But then that will kind of feedback into a praxis where they're like, ah, you know, so then they begin to think inordinately about yeah. how much pondering is going on or what type of pondering is going on. And then there's a cycle of self-accusation on the basis of the pondering. And then there's pondering about the self-accusation mm-hmm. and it just kind of gets out of control. Father Bonaventure, if you had to choose between getting Warby Parker glasses, subscribing to a YouTube channel, or flossing your teeth, what would you choose? Oof. I guess, to be honest, subscribing to a YouTube channel. <laughs> See, folks, it's not as bad as flossing your teeth or getting Warby Parker glasses. Please subscribe to God's Planning. Cheers. <laughs>